Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back. Today I'm here in the parking lot. I'm headed to Hollywood Studios. Today is August 28th and it is the day before Star Wars Galaxy's Edge officially opens up to the public over here at Hollywood Studios at Walt Disney World. And so I'm hoping today that they might do a soft opening. So that's the main reason why I'm here today. Hoping for a soft opening because um, they don't really have anything scheduled um, for the rest of the day. Earlier on today, they did the grand opening ceremony with uh, some media. Um, but after that, uh, some people were saying that they might do a soft opening so that's what I'm praying for right now also because I am gonna be blocked out of Hollywood Studios for a while so this is gonna be my last chance to come in here for a little bit until they unblock me till they release me from my shackles so yeah hoping to have a great day here at Hollywood Studios and here we are inside of Hollywood Studios Chippendale over there what's up Chippendale oh check it out they took down some of the uh, construction walls over here they do still have some black tarp in there so we can't see but uh hopefully these will be opening up pretty soon it's crazy to think that after today this park is going to be crowded all the time this is the last day of no galaxy's edge open to the public we better enjoy this last day of these crowds the last day of no galaxy's edge open to the public because after this i feel like this park is going to be madness but first, let's stop in here at ABC Commissary. Let's grab a bite to eat. Great lunch over here at the ABC Commissary. Uh, the menu that is outside could be possibly different from the menu that is on the My Disney Experience. So I suggest to go on the My Disney Experience and look at that menu at any of the quick service restaurants that you go to because there will be uh, extra things most of the time. Let's come over here to the entrance two by two and see if uh, see if anything's going on. I think everyone's gonna be over here, uh, coming over here to try to get a soft opening preview of Galaxy's Edge. Uh, I don't know if it's gonna happen, maybe. I know they did a soft opening preview for Toy Story Land last year. And yep, uh, there's already a lot of people over here waiting, hoping for a soft opening. I, of course, have already been into Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. I've traveled two by two. Um, if you haven't seen that vlog, go ahead and check that out. It's a really, really cool place. One of my favorite places in the world. I think it's definitely the best land Disney's ever created. And the thing is, is that it's not even completed yet. They still have Rise of the Resistance opening on December 5th. And they just released a picture from inside of Rise of the Resistance. And it looks amazing just off of one picture. Like, it, it looks incredible. But guys, we got to talk about something else that's happening here in Florida. It's not involving uh, Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. There's a major hurricane coming over here to Disney World. It's expected to hit on Sunday or Monday, uh, either Sunday night or Monday early in the morning. Um, it's supposed to be a Category 3 when it hits, and that's a major hurricane. And it's going to hit right off the Space Coast, right by Cocoa Beach. That's where it's projected to hit, which is just east of Disney World. It's about 30 miles east of Disney World. So, I don't know, guys. Disney World might get hit with a major hurricane and Disney World might be closing on Sunday or Monday we're not sure so if you are or if you are over here for your vacation right now I'm sorry but uh, yeah hurricanes coming look at all these vloggers over here right now just trying to get in cast members are saying no but uh, they kind of have to say no but I, I, I'm thinking that we might get a soft opening right now everyone kind of moved from back in this area to up here so I don't know we might be getting close we might not have been hearing some conflicted things some people say definite no some people say it's possible so we gotta gotta wait and see I guess well guys the soft opening was a fail leaders and cast members everywhere said it is not opening 100% so we are headed out all the vloggers are leaving I'm leaving go somewhere else in Hollywood Studios but tomorrow Galaxy's Edge is opening at 6 a.m. But some people are predicting that it will open closer to 4 because last year for Toy Story Land, I believe they said it was going to be opening at uh, 8 or 7 and they let people in a couple hours before that. So people are going to be here super, super early tomorrow. Well, does this almost count as going into Galaxy's Edge? Your destiny. 
I'm really wondering what they're gonna do with parts of this show once Galaxy's Edge opens because it has Rey and Kylo Ren in it. Um, and Rey and Kylo Ren are gonna be in Star Wars Galaxy's Edge. And they don't meet Kylo Ren over here in the launch bay anymore because he is in Galaxy's Edge. So it's gonna be interesting to see uh, if they're still in uh, the Star Wars at Galaxy Far Far Away show. So let's talk a little bit about Walt Disney World and Hurricanes. So Walt Disney World has only closed seven times throughout its whole history. It closed six of those times because of hurricanes and one of the times was for 9-11. And if it stays a category three and it hits Florida, um, I'm pretty sure that Disney is going to close Walt Disney World on that Sunday or that Monday depending on when it hits. And so what happens during a hurricane is some cast members actually um, will stay in the park and their job is to like check for debris that goes flying throughout the park and tying down everything that can be loose and that could turn into debris. Some cast members job is to go to the hotels and make sure that all the guests are comfortable and everything is going well for the guests. So if you're here during a hurricane, if you're here during this weekend when uh, this Hurricane Dorian is about to hit, make sure you uh, are very nice to those cast members because they have families here, they have their homes here, their cars. Um, so yeah, they're, they're uh, willing to go help out the guests uh, to make sure that they are okay. So just go ahead and give those cast members uh, some extra appreciation. And so if you can tell right now, I'm over here by the Chinese theater over here in Hollywood Studios. Uh, where the great movie ride used to be and now it's going to be Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway coming uh, early next year. And we got a couple new concept arts uh, renderings for this ride as well as we got a, a picture inside the ride of a uh, Imagineer painting one of the cars where Mickey and Minnie are going to be. And we actually got to see that there's actually going to be a sign up here that says Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's going to be cool. It's going to look uh, like a neon type of lighting. And yeah, they're being very secretive about this project right here and I'm very excited about it because I feel like this ride, a lot of people are sleeping on this ride right here. I think it's going to blow a lot of people away. It's using a special 2.5D effect. A lot of rides are 3D these days. Um, this ride is not utilizing 3D but it's going to look 3D because of the 2.5D effect. They're using black lighting and some other cool effects that are going to make all of the things in there pop. The only thing that I'm really hoping for for this ride is that it's a long ride because the great movie ride was like probably 20 minutes long and uh, that's what I'm hoping for this ride right here. I'm hoping it's a long ride. I don't really want a three, four minute ride. I'm hoping this is uh, just as long as the great movie ride. But either way, I know this ride right here, Mickey Minnie's Runaway Railway is going to be amazing when it opens next year. Just a quick update over here um, right by the Sci-Fi Dine-In. I know that I have been wondering what these construction walls for a long time. I, nobody knew what they were for. We just saw this building being built back here. Um, but people are speculating that uh, this is going to be bathrooms right here. Um, I'm not sure why they have two big cameras right up here though. Um, but yeah, these are supposed to be bathrooms I guess. I think many people are probably going to be confused as to why Star Tours is over here and why it's not over here in Galaxy's Edge. A lot of new people who come to Disney, Disney aren't going to understand why there's this Star Wars right right here. But Star Wars Land is back there. So that might create some conflict. I don't know. Maybe Disney in the future might uh, want to relocate Star Tours or create something new right here. Because just for uh, so many of these newcomers that come to Disney, new people come to Disney every day. And uh, it's going to be uh, pretty confusing for them. But I, for one, hope that they do not get rid of Star Tours. And this is my favorite part right here. Just the Ewok Village right here. This is awesome. This is the Star Tours ticket agent for further details. Man, ever since I went into Batu, ever since I went to Star Wars Galaxy's Edge, 
I've had the biggest itch to just watch Star Wars all day long. Like, that's all I've been wanting to do, and I can't do that right now because I don't have the movies. I'm waiting for Disney Plus. So when Disney Plus comes out, it's gonna be amazing. That Mandalorian, uh, I saw the trailer for that show. It looks amazing. Plus, it's just gonna be nice to be able to watch all the movies. And have you guys seen the new trailer for Star Wars Episode Nine: Rise of Skywalker? Let me know what you guys thought about that trailer. If you have seen it, go ahead and let me know what you thought about it. Message me on my Instagram. It's at MarcusQ.MQ. I, for one, think it looks awesome. I think this one might be the best in this trilogy. It's pretty much confirmed that Emperor Palpatine is back somehow. I don't know. I saw Darth Vader throw him, throw him off that ledge into that bottomless pit, but I don't know. He's back. He was in the, he was in the movie poster, and uh, I heard him laugh in the first trailer. So yeah, he, he's back somehow. And it also showed Rey in a uh, Sith robe. Plus, she had a, a, a red lightsaber. It was like a dual lightsaber that she kind of whipped it around. It's kind of crazy. It's definitely going to be a great movie. I can't wait for December to go watch it. And unfortunately, I have some sad news right now the sign the Hollywood studio sign the iconic sign that was right here is uh it's gone I don't know one day they just removed it and uh, they didn't say anything hopefully uh, it'll come back in a new in a new form with the new logo maybe I'm not too sure but yeah the Hollywood studio sign is gone but yeah guys that is actually gonna do it for me today over here at Hollywood Studios I tried to go uh, catch a soft opening for Galaxy's Edge failed it opens tomorrow at 6 a.m. I unfortunately will not be there if you guys are planning on coming you guys are gonna have a lot of fun it's amazing Star Wars Galaxy's Edge is out of this world plus a hurricane is coming to Disney World Hurricane Dorian is gonna hit Florida most likely on Sunday or Monday so if you guys are in the area make sure you stay safe hopefully all the cast members and everyone living in Florida and all of the affected areas are gonna stay safe but hey if you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and give this video a big thumbs up if you're new here make sure you subscribe to the channel down below and it's kind of fun to do the impossible we'll see you guys on the next video